Hey guys, welcome to Treadmill Review Guru. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Cycle Boxer by Lifespan Fitness. As you can see, this is a unique training machine. It's a bicycle on the bottom with a punching panel on the top for just kind of a full body workout. You get a little bit of cardio in there and some strength training. It's also really great for keeping your brain active. You can't zone out when you're on this machine, you gotta pay attention. You're cross punching and trying to follow patterns and colors. So it's very different and unique. So let's launch in and take a look at overall construction and some of the features. So let's take a look at the overall construction. Uh, this has a steel welded frame, so it is very sturdy and secure. You also have these two angled adjustable levelers here on the bottom. You can screw these in or out. There's four of them so that they'll just kind of hold these uh, bars on the, on the floor. You've got nice positioning there, which keeps it stable. I like how it's a little wider at the back end, but then narrower on the front end so that you can walk around it as needed. And then you've got a 13.2 pound flywheel in here, and that's safely encased inside this plastic covering to protect it from dust and impact and things like that. And then an upright top tube right here just kind of adds some stability and connects the seat to the boxing panel there in front. The pedals can be used either way. So you've either got a flat surface right here with a little bit of kind of cleats around the outside, or you can stick your foot in the cage with the adjustable strap for a little more security as needed. This has three adjustment points. So right here, you can lift the panel and the attached handlebars up and down. You can also raise and lower the seat and move the seat forward and back. So you do have several different adjustment options on this bike, which makes it so that it will work for different sized people. The total footprint, it's about 27 inches wide. It's 44 inches long and the height varies depending on how high you lift that panel. At the lowest point, it's 63 inches high and it will raise to 74 inches high. The bike itself weighs 121 pounds, so it is a little on the heavier side, but they have this nice steel bar right here behind the saddle, and you do have two front transport wheels up there at the top. So you can just lift and roll it out of the way um, when you need to. It will support up to 300 pounds of user weight though. So it has a pretty respectable weight capacity on there. And as you can see up here on the boxing panel, you've got five um, sensors, and we'll kind of demo those for you a little bit later, but they're actually quite sensitive. You don't have to hit it super hard to get that sensor to activate, but it can absorb quite a bit of power. Back here, you've got some spring-loaded bumpers so that it keeps this stable while giving you just a little bit of travel here on the front. Um, and the grips here on the handlebars are actually pretty comfortable. I would compare them to like bicycle grips. You don't hold on to them a lot unless you're kind of navigating the panel, otherwise you tend to have the gloves on, but it is nice to have that option for stability. Um, this comes with a pretty good warranty. Lifespan will cover it for, um, you got a full lifetime warranty on the frame, and then it's one year warranty on parts and labor. All right, let's take a look at the console. So you actually have a very bright, easy to see console right here. It's full color, seven inches, good visibility, and it is a touch screen, which makes it easy to use. So as soon as you get on the bike and start to pedal, that console will just light up, which is really nice. It is Bluetooth adaptable so that it will sync with a Bluetooth device. And on your phone, you can get the Cycle Boxer app, and then you can sync the app with your machine and it will store your metrics and data for you. And it will also sync with a chest strap. So the chest strap does come included, so it's Bluetooth compatible with both chest strap and a uh, phone. So when you pull up the screen, this is what you get. You've got quick start option or user challenge, and I'll show you how each works. The quick start will automatically take you in and you have different options. You can do an easy program, a medium program, or a hard program. And then within each of these programs, you have just a little bit of customization. So let me choose the easy one and it will bring it right here and automatically it starts. If I go back and choose medium, then I have the option. I can select the mode. And up in the sensors, which we'll show you in a second, there is colored lights behind each sensor. So you can choose a color pattern and then I'll start and it will start there. And let me give you the screen. So this kind of tells you yellow means you can hit with any hand. Blue means you have to hit right. Green means you have to hit left and the red lights up if you've hit it wrong. Like let's say I still hit it, but I hit it with the wrong hand. I didn't do a cross punch, then it will let you know. And the light automatically goes off if you hit it correctly. So that's how the color uh, pattern works. And it just kind of tells you the medium includes cross punches. 
So you're gonna have to punch across that machine. And then the hard level, um, you have to follow the color. So using one hand, if right hand is blue, you have to hit with blue, left hand is green, you have to hit with green. So they kind of divide it up a little bit. And then once again, if you hit the wrong target, it just gives you a red, it lights up red. So that kind of just gives you an overview of how the, the color um, mode works. And if we go to shape, it's very similar. So I just click shape, I'm gonna go down here, it'll give me information. Um, so a full light display means you can hit with any hand. A uh, plus means you have to hit with right. Four dots in the corners means you have to hit with left. And then once again, red means an incorrect hit and black means you've cleared it and it was appropriate. So medium level, once again, you gotta throw a cross punch and you gotta follow the right pattern. This one I find to be more challenging because the, the lights are a little easier to see than the patterns. So um, even at a medium level, I find the shapes to be a little more challenging. And then hard is the same thing and wrong hit will light up red. So those are the different modes that you have. So you've got the color option or shape option. I take to start and it will automatically start me. It's gonna give me a quick countdown um, and then I'll have the gloves on. And once I start, it's going to keep track of the time and how many I hit correctly. And once I get to the end, it will tell me, it will give me an out uh, or readout of my score. So what level I was on, I was on medium, I was doing shape. I have it set to three rounds, resistance level three, which is the pedals, and speed is four. So that's a little harder because I was in the harder section. And this actually gives you how many hits you did correctly, which I didn't really do because I was just demoing it. So that, those are your two options. Um, quick Start automatically takes you, like I said, to just easy, medium, or hard, and it will, it will start you right there. And those are always just the lights. Those aren't shapes. So as you can see, right down here, you can lean forward, and if you just want to engage the cycling option, you can hold on to those grips and cycle. And one thing I really like about this is it does come with these boxing gloves, but they've made it so that your fingers and your thumb can pop through and then you can just kind of put that on. That way I don't have to take the gloves off if I want to do something specific. I can still use my fingers and it will show me, it will allow me to navigate the screen. So that's really nice. Um, let's say if I want to come in and do a very specific challenge, I can customize it a little bit. So even in the easy section, you've got a couple options. I can add or decrease the number of rounds. So in between each round, it will give you about a 30 second break. You can kind of reset and then start again. So you can choose how many rounds you want. Resistance down here, you have 16 levels of resistance on the pedals. So it doesn't change how hard you can or can't hit the panel. The resistance is just for the cycling. Um, and like I said, you can go all the way up to 16. It gets really hard to pedal, depending on how much lower body challenge you want. And then speed is your punch speed level. So the higher it is, the more the quicker that those panels light up. Um, so like I said, we've got that kind of low. So if we just do that, then it will automatically take us in. So you have a couple different options. You can go to quick start, easy, medium, hard with shapes and colors, and then user challenge with a, a bit more customization as far as how much resistance you want. There is no um, dial or anything to change the resistance mid ride, which is something that I would like to see. Once you set the resistance for that program, it's set and you can't adjust it. So that is one thing just to be aware of. But let's take just a minute and I will show you how the panel works. So let's do quick start real quick. We're just gonna jump in. I'll do a medium program. Uh, we'll go, we'll, we're gonna do color mode. So I'm just gonna demo color mode. And as you can see, you've got your five sensors here. So we'll start. And I like how I can navigate the screen with the gloves on. So I'm gonna cycle nice and light and I've gotta hit it. All right, so let's pause. So as you can see, the blue was I had to do a cross punch and I had to hit with that right hand. Green, I had to hit left and then yellow, I could hit with either hand. When I hit correctly, it cleared it out. When I hit incorrectly, it gave me a red light. So right here, if I go down to finish, it tells me I got 68 um, right, which is pretty good for me. Um, and then I can go again if I want to, just kind of start it over. So let's go back and I'll show you how the shapes work. So this one is shape based and this is a little more challenging. So um, if it fills up with a full, it lights all the way up, I can hit it with either hand. 
If it's just a plus, I have to hit with the right hand, and if it's four dots, I have to hit with the left hand. So let's see how well we do. All Oh, that one I got wrong. All right, let's pause it. So finish time, I have 100, 194 strokes, so I did pretty good. Even just that little bit kind of got me out of, out of breath, but you can see the different patterns based on the shape or different patterns based on color. Um, kind of just gives you an idea as to how those programs work. I want to demo for you um, how the panel works. So as I mentioned, you've got bumpers back there that kind of absorb some of the impact. The thing I like about this is you can hit it very light and it will respond to a sensitive touch. You can also hit it pretty hard. So I'm going to do just like a one minute quick demo, hitting it as hard as I can. And then I'm going to have another reviewer come in, one of the bigger guys here in our office, and he's going to hit it with some power so you can kind of see the difference. So let me just load a quick program. I'm going to do an easy program. Um, so this is just going to be colors. I got the cycling resistance set pretty light and I can hit with either hand. And you can adjust, as I mentioned, you can adjust the timing on that if you want it a little bit faster, but you still want to stick with the easy light program. Uh, or you can really crank it, crank it down so that the speed is slow. But if you do those shapes, they're harder to see. It's more of a challenge. Anyway, let me see if I can. All right, so I'm going to pause. That was about 40 seconds. So that just kind of gives you an idea of how much noise is produced while you're hitting it, how much it can absorb. I'll have um, my other reviewer come demo it for you in a minute. But one thing you can see is even as I'm pedaling, the magnetic resistance is silent. So the bike itself doesn't make any noise. All the noise is from how hard you choose to hit that panel. So Matthew, our reviewer, is bigger than me. He's going to give you an idea of how hard you can hit this. Okay, give me one as hard as you can. There you go. So as you can see, the Cycle Boxer is different. It's something unique. Um, it's different than any other type of fitness machine or equipment we've tested, and I like the fact that they're being creative. It's really fun that it kind of engages both your upper and your lower body. It has 16 levels of resistance on the cycling, and the cycling part is quiet. As you can see, we demo different, different people hitting that panel, and it will respond to both light impact or heavy impact. It can tolerate quite a bit of, of strength, so I don't think you really have to worry about that. And it's pretty sturdy. I like the, the leveling feet underneath. So there's a lot of really good, unique, fun features on this. One thing to know about this machine, you cannot zone out. Unlike uh, treadmills or rowers or bikes or where you can kind of just zone out while you're exercising, you have to pay attention here. So I feel like this isn't just a body workout, it also challenges your mind in a different way than other fitness equipment, which is kind of fun. It doesn't require a subscription. So you do have to have um, electricity to power it up and it is Bluetooth enabled, but it doesn't require a subscription and you don't have to have internet to make it work, which is kind of nice. There's a few things that we don't love about it. One is that um, it's new. So we don't know a lot about it. We, it hasn't been tested for, we don't have long-term data on durability, um, wear and tear, things like that. So that is something to be aware of. It is new on the market and um, just kind of a unique design. Also, the price point's a little high, around $2,400. So you're looking at, you know, it might eliminate itself as an option for some users just based on price point alone. And um, it has limited cycling benefits. So this is the cycling, um, you can pedal and you can adjust resistance but all of the programming is for the panel. So think of this as more of a boxing machine first with some cycling component 
rather than a bike with a boxing panel because all the programming is designed for the boxing element itself. Um, the seat keeps you upright and it has this ridge right back here so that you, you can't lean back and you kind of have to sit up straight while you hit the panel, but it's not the most comfortable seat. So we could do about 20 minutes of a workout on the machine and then, and then we need to get off. So just a few things to be aware of. But we are impressed that Lifespan is thinking outside the box here and looking for something unique and fun that really is a full body workout and includes your mind as well. For a detailed written review, make sure and check us out at treadmillreviewguru.com. For a link to current pricing, click the link in the summary below. And if you liked our video, make sure and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you again soon.